so let's fast forward a few years. I turned 65. Um, I'm still working. I like what I'm doing. I like my job. Uh, I've got health insur insurance through work. Do I need to do anything about Medicare? There's a lot of you folks doing that. So the workforce is getting older, right? We're, we're seeing people at 66, 67, 72. I've had an 82-year-old uh, finally retire. Mm. Uh, those people just need to make us an assessment of, I'm coming up to 65. Uh, our normal questions are, are you contributing to a health savings account? If you're doing that, we're going to tell you do not even sign up for Part A of Medicare, which really? most people don't catch. Uh, we have CPAs miss it. Financial folks miss this. Uh, don't do that because it's not a qualified high deductible plan to continue funding that HSA. Mm. So our question is, hey, do you love your HSA? Are you enjoying, you do like the benefits of that? Yes. Are you healthy? How's your work coverage? How much are you paying for your work coverage? Okay. What is your work coverage? What are the deductibles? So that's our assessment, and it becomes a little logical to us, kind of a T-chart. Medicare on one side, group insurance on the other side. So there's a whole bunch of parameters, but it's just not as simple as, hey, I'm eligible, jump. Um, it, it really need to look at it. Uh, so not everyone should shine up for Medicare Part A, which is no. the hospitalization. Right, that's hospitalization. There's two components of hospitalization. And then Part B is more medical services, doctors, things like that. No, and it's a misnomer. I love to walk into groups and say, is, is, is Part A mandatory? 50% at least of the hands go up, and that's not true. So that's our first, uh, and they realize, like, whoa. Mm. Uh, no, because there's certain people that shouldn't do that. We, we catch 70-year-olds having signed up at age 65 for Part A, but they've been contributing to that HSA for four or five years. Mm. We're not the IRS, but you're not supposed to do that. I see. Yeah. So you don't lose anything. If you're continuing to work, say you work to 70, I'm not missing out on something by not signing up for A? Not at all. Wow. Not at all. Well, you're, well, I'm, I should say you are missing a little bit of hospitalization coverage, right. should you be, but you do have your group plan. Okay. So if the HSA is more important to you than that little piece of coverage, it is going to be a trade-off. However, if you're not contributing, we often will say, of course, go sign okay. up for Part A. You have something, and then call us when you need Part B. Mm -hmm.